growing my hair out, people. I'm trying to get it, trying to get a long mane again, and it's hard because I want to cut it so bad right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Style Chat Friday, and I'm here to talk to you about how to refresh your closet for 2016. This is going to be some tips that I have come up with over the past few years of being a stylist and a crazy shopper and somebody who loves to refresh at any moment. But I know a lot of you guys are thinking about making changes, making goals, and your wardrobe is essential to that. Today I have five tips on and five things that you can do to your closet to refresh your style and refresh your look without even going shopping just yet. And then you'll be ready to go shopping. You guys ready to get into it? All right. The first step on how to refresh your closet, and I thought of five steps all last night. I was racking my brain on what I do, my process, documenting it for you guys. And the first thing I do is donate. And I donate repeat items. I donate things that I haven't worn two seasons in a row, out of season, and negative sentimental stories that items, negative sentimental items, that's it. So these are the pieces that I donate. I don't want to donate trash, you know what I mean? I don't want to give away my holy items or things that smell bad or things that I've worn 16,000 times and now if I put one pit, one armpit into it, it smells terrible. I don't want to do, I don't want to give that, that stuff away. I want to give things that mean something and also things that are good. So starting off with repeat items. Repeat items are things you, you have a whole bunch of it. and. Um, Things like extra boyfriend jeans, extra pairs of jeans. I mean, you only really need two items of each thing. The next thing you want to get rid of and donate, things that you haven't worn two seasons in a row. See, and that a lot of people have this rule of six months. You haven't worn it in six months. But the thing is, there's four seasons, and I might not wear my over-the-knee boots, you know, all year long until it finally gets cold. And that's not fair for you to put this rule upon me to make me throw something away that I haven't worn in six months, but the weather has not called for these boots. So that's my rule is it has to be two seasons or two opportunities for me to wear these, this item, and I haven't worn it or chosen not to wear it and don't really like it. Next is you want to get rid of things that are, or donate things that are out of season. So sometimes those items do come back in style, but get rid of all the stuff that are out of style, especially between the era of 2000 and 2005. They're not coming back for a while, so you can go ahead and get the brand new version of them when it comes back here in 2040, okay? <laughs> the next piece that you want to donate are things that have negative sentimental stories. So why keep things that make you angry? Don't keep the sweater that your ex-boyfriend, two ex-boyfriends ago gave to you. Get rid of the shorts from college that doesn't remind you of a very good time. You know what I mean? Don't keep those things in your life. It, it just, it actually just, it's going to keep you down. You'll be surprised on how good you'll feel after you get rid of those things that have negative sentimental value to them. Number two, the number two thing that you have to do to your closet is throw it out. So there's some things that don't deserve to be donated. They are dirty, they are nasty, they are old, they they just don't mean, they, they shouldn't even be in anybody's closet. Instead of getting, giving those to the goodwill, throw that stuff out, burn it, get rid of it, and just throw it away, get rid of all the trash old burned out shoes, shoes that wouldn't serve anybody good, you know what I mean? You don't want to give things out that you wouldn't purchase or or see that you could wear, you know what I mean? So get rid of all that stuff and save the good stuff for that the good stuff for donating. The third thing that you have to do to refresh your closet is organize. So how I organize is I actually stopped organizing by color. It actually stresses me out because eventually it's just gonna get all jumbled up. But I do organize by type and categories and also organize by um, fit, that's a big thing, or organize by occasion. My drawers could be stuffed of pajamas and comfy clothes and I really only wear my favorites for an entire quarter, like five to seven items of comfy items that I actually keep. So um, I get rid of all the extra. After organizing, you want to store things away. So when you're organizing, 
you have a certain amount of space in your own closet. So, depending on the size of your closet, depending on how you can store things away, if it's a smaller closet, for me, I have a small closet right now. So, what I do is I store all my, so right now what's away is, well, I live in Florida, so I can't really get rid of my summer items because it's summer all year long. But I've recently just took, taken out a lot of my winter items because it's just gotten cold um, in Florida. So, um, what I packed away last spring was like all my heavy duty blazers, uh, my boots, my jackets. Those are the things that you're going to want to store away. If, you're a four, if you live in a four season type city, then you should be storing and organizing probably every quarter because of the season change and you're not going to be wearing a lot of the items that you may have. You can obviously repurpose a lot of items and that's a whole nother video. But majority of the things that you the majority of the things that you should be storing is out of season items meaning like winter spring summer fall um, so definitely you're gonna want to store things away that you're not gonna wear this season and you're gonna want to um, put it away in a safe place and keep it smelling good and nice and then bring it out when you're ready and the final piece which could be different to most I call it curating. You're going to want to curate your closet. A perfect example is probably like Zara, H&M, Forever 21 even does it. When you first walk into the store, there's a select like theme that comes out right when you first walk into the store. And that's how it should be in your own closet. There should be a theme about your closet, about your belongings and your things, so that way that can kind of guide you on, on how you want to dress on a daily basis. For me, what I do is I take a rack and I fill it up with 6 to 12 items that are my favorite that I want to wear all the time that inspire me for that season to help me dress a particular way consistently all the time. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in next Friday for the next installment of Style Chat Friday. And I love you all. Thank you so much. Mwah.